Welcome to the Unitrends Solution Video Series. In this video, we'll walk you through how to configure your Oracle backups using the Unitrends backup software and the Recovery Series appliance solutions. But first, let's review a couple key items. So as you look to have Unitrends protect your Oracle databases, it's one, important to understand what versions we currently support. At the time of this recording, Oracle 11G and 12C across the Windows, Linux, and Solaris operating systems are supported. For up-to-date information, though, please do reference the compatibility matrix on the Unitrends website. Secondly, to ensure the databases are in a consistent state as part of the backup, Unitrends does leverage RMAN in the background. And then thirdly, if you're using Automatic Storage Management, or ASM, to manage your Oracle database files, Unitrends does support those types of configurations. However, below that, you'll see if you're leveraging Oracle Real Application Clusters, we do not today support those types of configurations. However, if you did produce dump files of the Oracle databases, Unitrends could back up the dump files. And then lastly, this video walks you through the setup of your Oracle backups using the Unitrends agent, which is installed in your Windows, Linux, or Solaris machines. A separate Oracle agent is not required. So once you install the initial Windows, Linux, and Solaris agent, it'll one, detect Oracle is running on that machine, and also offer the capabilities to protect Oracle in that given machine. So let's now take a look at how to set this up. All right, so once you have the Unitrends backup software or the Recovery Series appliance deployed on the network and configured, you can go ahead and set up your Oracle backups. If you haven't already done so, though, please make sure you've installed the Unitrends agent in your Oracle machines as outlined in the initial setup video. From there, you can come into Jobs, under Create, and select Backup. So once the backup wizard presents itself, we want to first change the drop down from agent based assets to Oracle. Now, what this will do is list all machines that we've detected Oracle running on. In our case, we have a single Oracle server. And as we drill into it, we can now see the Oracle database or databases. So, simply select the Oracle databases you want to protect. And you also take note of a checkbox to auto include new databases. So, if you want the auto discovery of new databases that you might attach to your Oracle server, this will pick them up automatically when checked. Then you hit next and want to pick your backup mode. So it's either your fulls or fulls with incrementals. So with that, you pick the days in the week the full should run, as well as your incrementals and the start time for each. Now, if you'd like these to run multiple times throughout the day, you can do so with the recurs every option, which allows you to set those to occur at intervals of the hour or in minutes. So once you input the details of the backup schedule, last and finally, simply hit save, and you're now set to have your Oracle backups configured to run using the Unitrends backup software or the recovery series appliance. And that concludes this video on how to configure your Oracle backups using the Unitrends backup software and the recovery series appliance solutions. I do encourage you to check out the remainder of the video series for more helpful information but thank you for taking the time to learn more about Unitrends.